welcome all of my crafty baddies. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> I thought that would be a funny thing to call everyone, but I don't know. Today, the thing is, fast fashion, poo poo, lame, we hate it here. But sometimes our clothes get holes in them. And then we're like, oh, what do we do? We don't want to throw them out because that's wasteful. But we don't want to keep wearing them when there's holes in them. So what's the solution? Mending. So that's what we're going to do today. But we're not just going to be doing any type of mending. We're going to be doing visible mending because like, why not make things a little bit more fun? Plus, I don't think I'm talented enough and skilled enough and have the right colors of things to try to make my mending invisible. It's just not in the cards for me. So I think visible mending is a great option. I'm gonna show you a couple of the pieces we're gonna do today. So one are these jeans that when I pulled them up, this part ripped a little bit. Whoa! Classic spot for jeans to get wear. And that's on both sides here. Then we have this sweater is from Aritzia and it's from so, 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 so long ago, but when I got it only after a couple months it started to get moth holes in it i don't know if you can see let me find one this one i've already kind of tried to repair oh yeah and there's a big mark right here there's just a couple little spots all over yeah even right here there's a bunch of spots on this one that has holes in it and especially there's a couple holes in the titty area so that's not good so we're gonna fix that but it's a really gorgeous sweater it would be so sad to throw it out and you can't you know donate something that's broken because no one's gonna buy it it's just gonna end up in a landfill so why don't we prevent waste and repair things i'm really excited i haven't really seen a lot of people doing this sort of thing i mean i've been seeing a lot of people on here like thrifting and making clothes from scratch but i think there's something to be said about uh, actually repairing our clothes and trying to work with what we already have. I have one video kind of similar to this where I'm transforming some of the clothes that I already have and making them a little bit newer and more to fit me or fixing things about them. But this is a little bit different. Here we're actually gonna be adding things. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Here's some of my inspiration for the sweater design. I'm gonna add some embroidery patches and I'm gonna try to embroider those by hand to cover up some of the holes. And for the pants, I'm gonna try to do some regular mending techniques to cover up the holes in the pants and hopefully have them pretty concealed. But if they're a little bit visible, um, it's kind of fun still. So first things first, I picked up these embroidery hoops from the thrift store and I also found a bunch of thread. And here's my first attempt at making an embroidery patch, so I'm going to show you guys what I did. So first I drew my sketch and then I uh, just went back and forth in whatever pattern I liked and I was using a reference photo and just filled everything in. Here I'm using a bit of a thicker embroidery thread versus before I was just using a regular sewing thread. I honestly think you can use whatever you prefer. Uh, I'm sure there's a benefit to embroidery thread. It probably goes faster, but regardless, that's what I did. Here's where I'm at with the bee. It's looking really cute. I really want bubble tea. I might go get bubble tea. A bubble tea required. <laughs> Not required, acquired. I mean, it was required though. You're nasty. You're so dirty. Yeah, bubble tea. No, that's my bubble tea. That's for me, not for chicken. <laughs> it's my little garden so far. I also added beads to these to just make them a little bit more fun. And here's a technique I realized works much better once I got to the second wing. So you just fill up the thread with the beads first and make sure it's the correct amount. Then hold it down. Then sew it in before i was adding like three beads sewing it down coming back up adding more beads but it's much wavier that way it's a lot smoother and nicer and easier and much faster this is this is the best way to do it just trust me so here's how the bead turned out i'm so happy with how it looks i think it's so cute and here's the two patches together i think they're fun the next step is to actually mend the fabric so that it stays durable under the embroidery for this bigger hole, this is the technique I used where you add your little anchors and then you make all your wefts and then you go ahead and do your weaves through those wefts. In like easier terms, basically you're adding lines of stitching in one direction all side by side and then you go back through the other direction. For the really small holes, I just went in with yarn and went back and forth through the hole anchoring those ripped pieces to make sure that they can't come undone any further. 
<laughs> so much chicken. So for the jeans, I'm using that same technique of adding your wefts and then going through and weaving. And I'll leave a video link down below that I followed to help you get the kind of gist of what I did here. Once the mending was done, I just secured the button loops again by just going back in where the thread already is on them and holding it back down. And then I also noticed that there was a little spot here missing thread, so I filled that in too. While I've been working on all this mending, I also found these boots that I haven't worn in a long time because the toe's messed up and the heel as well. So I figured while I'm on this mending kick, why don't I give these a try? They might be a bit trickier because they're thicker than going through fabric, but I decided to go through the toe with my needle and thread and try to patch that hole. Make sure you use a thimble because this was really hurting my fingers. And while working on this, I decided I wanted to embroider these as well. So I found an inspo picture and I started designing and drawing where I wanted to add my embroidery so that I'd have the correct shape. And then once I'd done that, I held up the piece of fabric, sketched that on my fabric, and then brought it back to my embroidery hoop and worked on it there. And this is a little more in depth of what I did, but yeah, you're just going in and out, in and out with a thread and filling in all the little spots. And by the way, this takes forever, so just set some time aside and be slow with it, take your time. It takes a long time, which is why I only ended up doing one of the boots, just as an example for you guys. But I do plan on doing the second boot later on too. It just, it takes forever and I wanted to get this video up. Once you have your little patches done, you just cut them out. Oh, look at that sweet transition. I worked on that for you guys. And you just decide where you want it to go. Well, you should already know where it's gonna go because you planned it earlier. Yeah, you know, figure it out again, put some glue on there, smush it on. And then in the places where I was able to, I stuck some needles in to really hold it firm. I couldn't do that on the heel, but the toe and the actual heel, <laughs> I was able to. Okay, and here's how everything turned out. I love how the sweater turned out and I'm so happy the holes are fixed. Eventually I'd love to add more patches, but for now this is all I was able to do since it takes so long to make these. Or you could buy some inverter patches and add them on, but I don't know. I just wanted to make them myself with what I already had. So I think it looks great. And here is how the jeans look. You can barely tell, but there's just a little bit of purple, which I think is so cute. And the boots look so cool. They look like fluvogs, like they look designer. They're very, very cool. And I'd love to once again, add more patches to these. Thank you so much for being here with me. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope this inspired you to put a little bit more time and energy into some of your old, more loved clothes.